Good night, mate. <gasps> Good night. Let me go. I, I haven't got you. Is it a woman? You have. And it is. A lady, I should have said. Uh, if you'll just give me the lantern a moment, I'll unfasten you in no time. Please do. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Could be a long business. Mm. Uh, unless you want me to uh, cut the material. Uh, then cut it. You don't want me to do that. No need. If you'll just uh, hang on a moment, I'll uh, uh, hold still. Be patient, patient. You're not doing anything. <laughs> I'm looking at a beautiful face. One of the most beautiful faces I've ever seen. Well, it's unwillingly shown. Oh. <laughs> oh. I like you the better for that incivility, oh. I must say. Look, you're making it worse on purpose. Please go and leave me here. Impossible, I'm afraid. If I go, I shall uh, drag you with me. And uh, <laughs> if I leave you here, well, I'm absolutely bound to stay and uh, keep you company. Who are you? Sergeant Troy. And what are you doing here? Before I entered the service of Her Majesty, I used to live here. I always come back for haymaking. Uh, mm -hmm. There we are. Free. I only wish it had been the knot of knots. There's no untie. Night, beauty. Miss Everdeen. Little did I think it was you. The Queen of the Core Market herself I was speaking to the other night. I am sorry if I offended you, but it does seem a bit hard. What seems hard? That ill luck should follow a man for honestly telling a woman she's beautiful. It's not your honesty I take exception to. It's your impudence. <laughs> Miss Everdeen, you do forgive me, don't you? I do not. How can you blame me for your looks? A woman like you does more damage than she can conceivably imagine. Please go away. I'd rather you didn't talk to me again. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you since I first met you. Oh. Honestly. I loved you then, at once. Mm -hmm. And I do now. It's not possible. There's no such sudden feeling in people. 